So this is how leg entanglements work. I intentionally put this at the start of the video so you can go back and rewatch it. My opponent's foot is on the outside, my legs are on the outside, we call this outside ashy. My opponent's foot remains on the outside, I change one variable by moving my legs to the inside, we now have the reap. I change one more variable, I put my opponent's foot now to the inside, we enter the saddle. And finally, by changing the variable of our two feet to the outside, once more, we have 50-50. So now that you have that down, we can start playing the first game. The attacker starts with outside ashy and the defender just chills out. The attacker will now change one variable at a time, just one, either switching their legs to the inside or switching the opponent's foot from the left hip to the right hip. They'll then name this position. From the new position, they'll continue to change only one of these two variables and continue to name the new position. Great, now that your brain's fried, Oh my God! Wow! It's time to fire those muscles. Keeping the same drill, you're going to add two simple things. Firstly, you're gonna use either hand to control the knee line and pull the knee in at all times. Imagine there's a straight line between your two knees. Your opponent's knee must be above that line when you enter the position. The second thing is pulling your heels back and pinching your knees really tightly to further control the knee line. Your hands and your legs should be working in unison and you should use them both when possible. Stay tuned for part two.